What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Jake, your favorite investor. Come on in. Come one. Come all. We're at a property. I am with one of our students, one of our flip family members in the mentorship program. We're going to break, show you a house that Drew, Mr. Drew Doan from the mentorship program. What flip is this for you? Number 15. Number 15. This is the first property he's ever seen in person, and it's actually in the city I live in now. And so we're going to talk about it a little bit. So what's going on, you guys? What is going on? It's your boy, Jake, your favorite investor. And we are on site. Early stages of rehab on this one. All right, this is like, Drew, you said this is like the fifth dumpster that you've had here? Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of dumpsters here. What's up, Fahad? What's going on, you guys? Um, so, again, we got Drew Doan here. Say what's up, Drew. What's up, everybody? How we doing? Now, Happy Drew... Friday. Drew is one of the OGs of the mentorship program. Um, when did you start? Two years, three years ago? July of uh, 2018. Four years ago. Yeah. Drew is one of the very first people that got into the mentorship program. Uh, for the first couple of years, I don't know if you were going that hard on no, it, was... but over over this last year, you probably what ten flips deep this last year. Yeah. Last nine months. Personally, yeah. So this one, Drew, this is the first one he's ever been to. This guy lives in. San Diego. San Diego. We're in Knoxville, Tennessee, and he bought this one. Why don't you tell him the numbers on what you bought yeah, this for? I bought this one for fifty grand, and we're going to do about $80,000 worth of rehab into it. It's going to be great. We're going to put a brand new roof on, uh, new flooring. We're going to add a bedroom or add a bathroom to it, adding value to the house, bringing it up, and we're going to sell it for about 200000 So, um, So he bought it for fifty. Okay, and did yep. you buy it off the MLS? Directly off the MLS. So we saw it on what, Redfin? Redfin. Found it on Redfin for 50, right? All the properties in this neighborhood, we're in the backyard right now, all the properties in this neighborhood are selling for right around 200 grand, okay? But they're in decent condition. The ones that sold for 200, were they renovated? Renovated. Yeah. Okay, so they're in renovated condition, and he bought it for 50, or he put it under contract for 50. Mm -hmm. And what's your rehab budget again? 80? 80,000. So he's putting 80 grand into it, and. That 80 grand is going to go a long way because this house, it needs major work and we'll probably do a walkthrough of it. There's people working in there, so we're not trying to be super invasive. But at the end of the day, he'll sell this for 200 grand. He's just kind of passing through town. And uh, what's your net profit going to be at the end of the day? Probably about 40, 50 grand. Between 40 and 50 grand of net profit. And how many other ones you got going on right now? Oh, jeez. We got 10, 10 more. Are, you have 10 right now? Yeah. It's deals that I'm in personally and... Uh, uh, gap deals that that I've been blessed ah, to be able to. That, that's a good point. So Drew, being one of the OGs and making some money in real estate, how old are you? 26. 26. I'm starting to get greasy here. Yeah, sun's, I'm sweating. Sun, sun's starting to come up. Here, why don't we come over? Yeah, get in the shade. there's some shade over here. Shade over there by the broken glass? More over there, Jake. Oh, yeah, we'll go. Come, boat. come right here. Oh, that is a boat. <laughs> so, um, Selling a boat. Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> Anybody want a boat? So with this house, or so with Drew, he started flipping and started making profit. And then he started using some of his profits to fund other people in our, is it every, everybody yep. in the mentorship program? Only in the mentorship So program. he makes his money exclusively to other people in the mentorship program that learn the same exact way that he's learned. And he's got all sorts of deals going on. Do you have a full-time job? No. This is what you do? This is what I do. Not bad. I came from, uh, you know, if, if I can add, I came from the cryptocurrency world. And I, I don't know if you guys follow any of that, but um, ups and downs. And we've had a lot of ups with them, and we've had a lot of downs with it. And diversification is everything. So when I saw this, I was like, wow, I can really take all of this Bitcoin knowledge that I have and apply it to real estate and follow Jake's strict mentorship program to a T. And you can do things like this. Yeah. And so this, uh, again, this is in Knoxville. It's uh, what two right now? It's two beds, one bath, nine hundred square feet. Yep. Built in nineteen forty. And uh, anybody have any questions for Drew on this one? Where do the questions come in down there? They come down here, okay. or maybe on the thing. And it's like a delay. There's typically like a fifteen second delay. Okay. My arms are getting tired, dude. Let me do it this way. Yeah. That's why you look so good, man. Yeah, I know. I, I got one big shoulder and one small shoulder. <laughs> Drew in the house. Anybody have any questions? If not, we're just gonna walk through and show you what he's doing here. Going once, 
No single questions. Going twice. What's up? All right, Drew. Sold. All right, here's what we're going to do here. Let me, I'm going to turn this around. You just tell us what we're doing to the house. Don't talk about any numbers because we don't want to make yeah. anyone feel weird. So we're going to go in through the back door here, guys. Why don't we go around the front? Okay, you want to go through yeah. the front? Yeah. Watch your head going through this. I'm five foot ten, dude. I'm not going to hit that. <laughs> so we're walking around to the front of the house. And uh, he's just going to walk you right through. Okay. It was not a foreclosure. It was recently evicted. And there were squatters that didn't leave. Give me one sec. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You go down there? So. Yep. All right, everybody, this is the front of the house. So he put, they put new siding, new windows, and they've rebuilt this or they initially built this? They uh, rebuilt this. this so that porch, down. that porch is being rebuilt. We got our steps. This is going to look nice with a little under lighting. Heading into the house. Here we go. This is going to be the living room. So there was a, th this wall went all the way through. Yep. There was a wall here. There was an opening right here. And everybody walks through. You can kind of see where the opening goes. Um, let's go into one. Wait, wait. It's over here real quick. This is a load bearing beam right here opened everything up this is going to be the kitchen and laundry yep so we got laundry over here and that goes to the back of the house we got windows yep sorry bro <laughs> we got downstairs heading to the basement which we were just down down there before we turn this on we've got bedroom number one yep here let me come over here Drew. Oops, sorry at the front of the house and then we've got this is going to be the uh, i believe the bathroom so we're hooking it up where the bathroom's gonna be. I don't know if this can be a bathroom. Okay. Well, I mean, my, you know it better yeah. than I do, right? Um, but that's a closet right now. But on the other side, you can kind of see through there. That's where the, the current bath is. Correct. And there it is. Current bath. What is this? What was this? What is this Wait, opening? It's just a vanity. I don't know. Okay, maybe that's where the mirror was. Yeah. Right? We got... Okay. And, and we got... this is the second bedroom. Not feeling any foundation. Not not too bad. It's not really going to matter too much in this neighborhood. Got your windows. You got your closet. Solid. Closet. Brand new This is going to be cut out. Old house. Yeah, don't turn that up. Attic up here. Yeah, you can go if you want. I ain't going up there. <laughs> so let's roll on out. Cool. We'll go back to the back. And so you can see the, uh, the siding. It's like an aluminum siding. All this stuff is going to be cleaned up. You plan on doing anything with landscaping? Yeah, we'll put some gravel in, maybe some dirt, some nice landscaping, clean it up. Yep. And so heading back over here, let's see this. Got to head back to this, to our spot over here. To the shade. Also, realistically, one thing I've learned is when you have folks working in the house, talking numbers in front of them. Um, it could be disrespectful. Drew, that's not yours, is it? Oh man, that's my size. <laughs> Drew, Drew doesn't use magnums. That's my size. He, though. he needs that's an e me. extra small. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. The interesting thing is that Drew knew exactly what was going on. Why don't you come over here? Yeah. Drew knew exactly what was going on. Why don't you show him that device you got in your pocket? Yeah, man. He knew exactly what was going on with this house because he gets regular updates from his contractors. It's how his contractors get paid. He knew everything that was going on in here. 
So when he walked it the first time, he was already familiar with the work that was being done. He knew exactly where they were at. You can run this using these bad boys right here, right? You got a couple of them. Right here. I got a couple of them too. You got your work phone, right? I call them the the money maker. Yeah. And so with this, like he, he was very kind to let us come over here and shoot some content at it. But he doesn't need to do that. He was passing through town. It's not like he went out of his way to go and look at the house. He doesn't need to do that because he's got a system in place where he's able to manage it, manage expectations with contractors, manage the money that's being sent, manage, you know, what the anticipated profit is. He can do all of that with what technology allows us to do through Redfin, through Dropbox, through FaceTime video calls. And uh, yeah, man, this one looks good. I mean, this this is how we make our money. Yeah. Um, you don't have to know construction. You don't have to, um, you don't have to have a ton of cash to do it. He didn't use a dime out of his own pocket. Now, Drew does have money because he's been flipping houses for a few years now. And the money that he has, he puts into other people's deals and the deals that he does, he borrows money from investors, from OPM. And so this is an example of not only an investor, but an OPM lender that has his money in the game, money in the streets from a lot of different angles. Pretty cool. Yeah. Take everything that you can on the table, guys. All the deals. There you have it. That's what it looks like. Hopefully all is well. You got any message for anybody before we get off? You know, stay grinding, stay hustling. And I I remember looking at at the, uh, I've I've been on the other side of the screen saying, hey, is this possible? And yeah, it is. It's hard work and discipline. And, you know, with the right mentor and the right team, you can get there. Um, And Jake's one of those guys. So thank you very much. Hey, I got you, brother. I got you. Um, And yeah, guys, I mean, this is is real life stuff. It doesn't matter if if it's in an up market, if it's in a down market, if it's ice cold, if it's scorching hot, right? If it's, it's appreciating, depreciating. We know how to run numbers to be able to anticipate what our house will sell for. And even if this house is off by... 10, 15 You know, grand. 10% yeah. on what your numbers are, which I know you run your numbers yeah. right. But let's say, you know, when it's time to sell this in a couple of months, let's say he's off by 10,000 bucks, right? Which would be 5%. Or let's say 20,000 yeah. bucks. Sure. You're still making 20 to 30 grand on a flip that you're doing from 3,000 miles away. You're not spending a ton of time on. That's right. All right. These contractors, they get paid. The lenders that are involved, they get paid. The real estate agent gets paid. And at the end of the day, your boy Drew gets everything that's left over. Not bad, right? And once you start getting volume, once you get comfortable in your own skin, you can really scale things up to the point where are you going to Ohio tomorrow or Sunday? Columbus, Ohio. And he's going to look at his stuff in Ohio and then he's going to head back home and do his thing in San Diego. That's right. All right, you guys. So anyway, hit the link in my bio. We actually, I have a $300 masterclass on OPM. It's called OPM Essentials. Hit the link in my bio. It's theflipsecrets.com slash OPM Essentials. Check it out. It's something that's brand new. It's not the 25 grand that the mentorship program is. It's not the 12 grand that the coaching program is. You can check it out for 300 bucks. If you don't feel like there's value there, you let me know. I'll give you your money back. But if that changes things and changes the way you look at the game and changes how you look at just a property like this, it might be worth it to, to start you know, doing a little bit more research on what real estate could do for you. Same thing That's that right. it's done for Drew. All right, y'all. Talk soon. Stay Happy well. investing.